Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're going to be playing Rising World. It is a new game released to the Steam Workshop. It allows us to play a Minecraft-like game that has a little bit more on certain points than Minecraft, but it also has a little less in other um, aspects. Um, as you can see here, it is an alpha, so there are certain things that are missing from the game, which we will actually go over as we play. Um, some of those that are missing right now are profile and community. I'm guessing this will allow us to make our own character the way uh, we look and so forth. Uh, but I'm just speculating. I really don't know what these are going to be. Um, another thing is settings is going to be, um, let's go ahead and go into here. You have your graphics, your audio, your controls, a customization. This is something else that is not in the game. Um, I'm interested to see what that is. Um, the audio, uh, if you want the audio to go up, you, it doesn't automatically, um, increase when you slide this up. You actually have to go there and save audio so let's go ahead and turn this back down a little bit um, maybe a little bit more um, so let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and go oh and also multiplayer um, this looks like the Minecraft um, multiplayer where you have to get the server information before you can play on a server, of course. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to have their own personal servers. Um, also, it looks like uh, if you've ever played or seen Unturn, uh, it looks like you are able to put in a friend's IP information and connect to them directly and play with them. Um, so let's go ahead and get into single player and we will go ahead and create a new world and I'll just call it um, Cypher uh, Deck uh, Let's Play. And we'll go ahead and just leave this seed the way it is. Don't really, uh, it doesn't really matter too much for us. Uh, but if you want to play on the same seed and see what I'm seeing, uh, this is the seed that we will be using. There are three, uh, there are actually four game modes that you can play in. Survival, Creative, Stranded, and Adventure. These two are not in the game as of yet, but these have piqued my interest. I am really wanting to know what these are going to bring to the game. Uh, of course, Creative is where you can just play around and make houses and make things, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do Survival. We have three world types, which are normal, super flat, again, uh, to play around in, and surreal, which, um, it's just spiring, um, spiring? Yes, it's like, um, stalactites or stalagmites, where it's just sticking, just stone is just sticking up and out of the ground. It's hard to explain. Uh, I may show you that in another um, another game uh, play, but right now we're going to do normal. I'm going to turn off caves because these make naturally forming fissures or um, holes in the ground. They're not visually pleasing and... Um, don't really want to use these so we'll make our own uh caves uh and that's why that's off and vegetation you have off or on uh we want it on of course and survival let's go ahead and get into the game so the first thing i like is that here it says uh, the name and when it's created uh this is just allows you to give a kind of timestamp of when you're playing um, you start out with two tools. One is a pickaxe and the other is an axe. And it is bright. Okay. Um, so it looks realistic, uh, which is really cool in some aspects and really not so cool in others. 
uh, I, at least right now. Uh, the non-cool thing is that whenever you're able to kill animals and get things from them, it's going to be kind of sad because the animals look real. Um, some small notes. Uh, flowers you can pick up by just going up to them. I think this is maybe uh, something that later on may be a herbology kind of thing. Um, also, these little bushes here. I think this is going to be something where uh, these may grow uh, fruit or uh, just give you sticks later on. But right now, they do nothing but be in your way. So it just falls apart in leaves. And as you see, it gives you nothing. So this is your inventory. You have all of the space to put things, which you will not fill this up unless you are just making tons and tons of blocks. Um, you have an armor system that looks like Minecraft. Uh, this equipment thing, I am interested in knowing what that's going to be. By the way, there is no functioning Wikipedia or uh, Wikia for this game yet. So you really have to learn the game on the fly. Um, crafting, um, you just click that little name and it brings you to here. And you'll see that you can make a shelter out of sticks. Well, we make sticks out of lumber. So for every one lumber, we get four sticks. For every log, we get four lumber. And we will also use lumber in um, and making workbenches. So what, that's the first goal. Uh, but actually, another goal is ah oh, pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know if we can use those to plant them and make other things because um, I unless you can put that there. Nope. Can I put that on my head? Please tell me I can put that on my head. Oh, I can't put it on my head. I can't right click it or do anything with it. Um, uh, if I hit number four. Can't do anything with it. Can I place it? Cannot place it. So this is permanently in my inventory for now. Alright. So lumber is something that is going to be required of us a lot. We're going to have to get a lot of trees. And so... Why not just start now? So as you see, the trees fall and they roll down hills and make weird looking things. And you can also chop on the uh, stump and get it. Normally, unless it falls through the ground and you can't get it. Um, where in the world did our tree go? I think that's it right there. This is why I don't like to cut down trees in um, these kind of areas. Is this the tree? Where's the tree at? Where'd it go? Cow. So, yeah, the cow. It's, it looks like a cow. And how are you going to kill it? I mean, I don't like killing the cows. I don't like killing the pigs. I don't like killing the goats. They, I mean, look how cute that is. It's a cow. <laughs> so... Uh, where'd our tree go? I don't want to waste trees. I mean, there's tons and tons and tons of trees. But it's lost. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and try to find flat land before we continue. Uh -huh. Aha! Tree. Is it chopping? Aha, it is. Nice. Gather these. There anymore yep so we want to try to find flat land it'll make it easier for our home i'm just picking these up just because later on maybe cut uh ferns they don't give you anything i guess that's what that is is a fern so it looks like this is a pretty flat area and is going to be a good place to start that place is any right <laughs> uh, there's a lot of trees there's animals um, and we want to pretty much start in a good place for whenever animals are useful you can kill the animals but they give you nothing 
at all. And the way that you loot an animal is by using a skinny knife. So you have to make a skinny knife before you kill animals or it's pointless. You're just killing animals. <laughs> so I think this tree... We'll cut this tree down and this will be our home. So... A few things that I I love about this game and I don't like. Uh, first off, I like that you can cut down trees. It's visible, and once they're cut down, um, they don't grow back. Um, something I don't like is that you can't replant trees. Um, but again, there are so many trees. Um, but there is such thing as deforestation, so... Eh. <laughs> Uh, so right now you can't replant trees, but I'm guessing that's something that will be in the future. Also, you don't get any kind of food from trees like apples, but again, I'm stereotyping because of Minecraft. Um, some things that are really cool about this game, uh, which we'll get into. Let's go ahead and just, um, we just don't need trees. We need so many trees, let me tell you. Uh, let's get about 20 logs in our inventory and then we'll actually start doing things. I'm just going to cut down trees for right now. But, um, I wish that you were, you could visibly see how long it's going to take to cut down a tree. Because, um, it, I, I have no clue when this stump is going to be chopped down. I don't know if it's taking too long, if it's something that you need to report, uh, because, I mean, it is an alpha. You kind of want to let them know uh, any kind of bugs that you find in the game. Uh, I guess that would be kind of cool, is that way they know. But I don't know if that's a bug because of the fact that uh, there's no real Wikipedia or uh, any kind of thing on it to tell me if how long it's supposed to take to cut a log or anything like that. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. How many logs do I have? 19. Let's go ahead and put the pumpkin down here as we can't use it. Get our flower collections. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's get that. Let's get, cut this thing down. Okay, tree. So the first thing that we're gonna make are benches, um, crafting benches. There are one. Um, let's just count them off: the workbench, the block bench, the saw bench, and um, the anvil uh, that we can actually use. Did I leave the stump? I did. Oh my goodness. Um, the block bench makes blocks um, so that you can build buildings. Um, the um, saw bench makes um, household items like beds, um, toilets, yes, toilets, <laughs> um, and other things like that. Um, it also makes um, ladders, all kinds of things. It, it, it makes uh, most of the things that you'll need once you have a house. Um, then the, um, the regular workbench makes torches, sconces, um, which are things that hold the torches. Uh, you can't just put torches down wherever you want and um it be lit up for you it doesn't work like that uh i think this is the last tree and then we'll start making our workbenches also um other things you may want to know are beds workbenches Everything in the game right now uh, is not removable and replaceable. So if you um, are going to place... A, wow, that's a lot of wood for that tree. 
if you're going to place a workbench, make sure it's where you want to place that workbench because you can't pick the bench back up. You have to make a brand new one every time. And that's where lumber is going to be uh, very uh, used. Uh, it's going to be used a lot. So I think we're going to use this tree as our location for our crafting uh, benches. So let's go in here. I have 32 plus um, 37 logs. We can go ahead and put... Come on. And we need to make uh, resources... 16 logs 16 logs so let's go at uh, eh. so craft one two three four crafting station uh by the way before we make the crafting station uh you'll see that you can make it look different depending on what you want out of the crafting station uh for aesthetics um, I think I'm going to make it, eh, I think that's what I'll use. So let's go ahead and craft it and three. Yes. Okay. So whenever you make the crafting bench, you'll see it whenever you have it, uh, have your mouse pointed down at the ground close to you and you'll see that it conforms to the landscape and I don't like how that's sitting next to that tree so we'll put it on this side of the tree um, also you can turn it by tapping on your arrow keys and we'll go ahead and have that right there now to place it you hold your right mouse button and there we go we have our workbench so the next thing we're gonna make is an anvil and that is because it is free and we're going to need to make some tools. Um, so uh, crafting stations will make an anvil. And again, you can change the color of it. Uh, I like this one. And a saw bench is 32. And a um, block bench is 48. So 32, 8, that'd be 0 carry the one that's seven that's 80 blocks that uh 80 lumber that we need <laughs> i don't know if that made sense uh 80 blocks 60 70 80 nice we're gonna have a lot left over okay or we're gonna have at least some left over oh <laughs> i didn't make the um the crafting station so Let's go ahead and go to here and we'll make something along the same lines as this one. That'll work. So craft that. Saw bench. What? 32. Arg. Well, let's just make the rest of these because we're, we're going to need them anyway. So go down here, crafting station. Um, was it the saw bench? Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and make that. That works. All right. So let's go ahead and it looks like uh, why why? Okay, there we go. Move these down. Put these up here. So we're going to put down the anvil first, and I like to put the anvil down like right under here. I just like it to be barely uh, barely visible, so we'll put that right there. And then we'll go ahead and make the bench, uh, and we'll put that here, kind of. We're going to make a, a half circle or a semicircle, I think uh, that, and then... We're going to put this one, uh, we'll do something like that. All right, so here are all of our benches, and we're going to make tools now. So let's go ahead and go into the anvil. And again, there is no metal, there is no iron, 
There is no copper, nothing in the ground as of yet that would allow us to make these on our own. So they're free. So we're going to make, um, I think, five, uh, five of these. We're going to make um, 16 of these. Then we're going to go into our components. And again, none of these are requiring resources. Um, we need a sledgehammer. We need a rake. And we need a scythe. Um, we already have an axe. We don't need this because that's what the scythe actually does. Um, so, and then the morning star head is if you're actually going to make weapons, which we don't need right now. All right. Did I place that right? I placed that wrong. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You can still use it from the side. Um, and then you have this. Let's go ahead and make tools first. So we go in here and we're going to need sticks. We need, um... Or uh, three, I think 12. We'll do. Um, oh, I gotta show you this. So, here are all the tools that you can make. You can make a pickaxe, an axe, a sickle, a hunting um, knife, a scythe, a rake, and a sledgehammer. But the best of them all is the rolling pin. Why? Because it is useful for flattening dough or. Chasing away someone from your land. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I may make one at some point just for the purpose of chasing cows from our land or a person if we ever do multiplayer. So we're going to make a scythe, a rake, and a sledgehammer. All right, and... It's getting night time, so we do need to make a bed. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go in here. We need 32 sticks. So sticks. Okay. Um, and craft. So let's go ahead and put these down here. That there. That there don't really need that right now and put that right there. No. It's not working. All right, number four. And we will go ahead and put that right here. By the way, it shows a health and if you die from falling or however it is that you are dying um, you can't heal yourself because there is no food in the game so don't die or get hurt that's, that's bad bad stuff um, so the first thing we want to do this day is I do not like the way this looks it's hard to see our workbenches um, and we are going to have to start mining, um, which uh, I think we'll do it over there where that kind of lift is. Is that a... Okay, that's a goat. Never mind. I, was, I thought that was a cow right there. <clears throat> All right. Um, so to do this, we need our scythe. Now... Just to show you what it does, clears the grass away. Now, if you have a lot of grass that you want to move uh, to get rid of, you can um, do it in two swipes by holding down the left mouse button. Or um, you can actually prep the land. Well, this is actually working fast right now, so we'll just do this. Uh, but you put the land by holding down the right mouse button and it'll flatten all this grass down making it so that you can do one swipe with the scythe um, going back around so 
So let's go ahead and just flatten the land a little bit. And we'll, we're going to be using this tool a lot. Uh, because when we go to actually make our hose, uh, our, our hose, when we go to make our hose, um, no, when we go to make our house, we are going to be um, clearing land so that we can see where we're placing our blocks uh, because we are going to be putting down a lot of them and I kind of like to see where our blocks are connecting. So now let's go ahead and clear this away. All right. All right, and we are almost done. There we go. All right, so now we have a nice work area. So let's go ahead and make some torches and some sconces and we'll go ahead and do some mining. How many sticks do we have? We have three. We need uh, more than that. Um, we'll go ahead and make 16 more. And we'll go ahead and go uh, make some torches. We'll make... I think it was 16. Yes. There we go. And then we're going to make torch mounts. Um, and we'll go ahead and make all 16. There we go. Um, and the reason we got um, those plates, utilities, we'll make a clock and we'll make a compass. We probably won't get very far down into um, K. Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't used the compass before. That looks really neat. That is going to be very helpful. And O is our time. So it is 10. That's going around pretty fast. Uh, I'm guessing it's 10 a.m. <laughs> uh, or it'd be dark. So we have a little bit of time. Um, so let's go ahead and... Um, Go over here. Oh, let's go ahead and put a fire down as well. Um, let's see. I don't know if this will allow us to put one on there. It's not looking like it. I right, gotta put it in our inventory first. Nope. Well, let's go ahead and put one, I think right there. Uh, you can't twist it like you can uh, the benches. Um, so that's the thing that we put this in. Um, it allows us to um, put... Um, oh, wait a minute. I can pick that back up. That is awesome. It's good to know. Um, but you can put these kind on the wall or on the ground. And so that's why I got those is because we're going to be using them in the cave that we make but we want to make sure that we have the ability to put them on the ground if we can't find a wall to put them on um that doesn't make sense um let's go ahead and make sure we're clearing our way um not so much the side but to uh, get this kind of stuff so we come out of our cave it's so hard to see that um go ahead and clear some of this I guess we will use our side because I, I want to be able to make it back and have an idea of where I'm going so um, once we um, start mining there's again there's um, the mining in this game you can get dirt but and it'll act like stone um, they haven't really made that a thing. 
Also, you can't make like dirt blocks, which kind of sucks because I'd like my first house to be a dirt house since I'm, I'm surviving. <laughs> um, it's easy living the surviving, but it is surviving nonetheless. There we go. And I think I think that is good enough. Uh, and we'll go ahead and just uh, let's go ahead and just clear the first area where we're gonna dig into. There we go. And so this is dirt, by the way. Um, <laughs> Even though it has little dirt and stone rocks that are visible, it is actually dirt. Um, and the reason that we got the rake uh, is because we can mold the dirt so that it doesn't look so um, weird. <laughs> Our entrance at least. Uh, but we'll do that once we get this a little bit more open. All right. So it is kind of neat that you, it's not had just uh, making or mining blocks like in Minecraft because that'd be kind of weird, but that you can actually modify the way the ground looks. Um, But you see that animation where it does show that it's breaking? I wish they would have that on trees. Because the trees... Um, okay, let's go ahead and get our rake pulled up. And we'll go ahead and start... Molding the dirt around us. I think that'll work. So there's our hole. Let's go ahead and mine that out a little bit more. But for uh, making what we're going to be making, um, as far as making our house, we're going to need tons of stone as well. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end it here. Um, I will continue mining, maybe get some lumber as well, and then when we come back, we will actually make our very first foundation of a house and maybe try to make a house. <laughs> but I will see you next time, guys. I thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you like the uh, game, the way it's looking. Um, I know that it's still kind of rough, but hey, you gotta start somewhere as a company, and I think they started out with a pretty cool looking game. Um, let's go ahead and place our first torch before we leave. Um, and we'll put that right there. There we go. And that is our first torch in our mine. And we struck stone. So that's really cool. Uh, but like I said, I'll see you next time. Have a great evening.